After more than 80 years, what's, no, what's been known as Fort Polk in Vernon Parish is now Fort Johnson. A redesignation ceremony happened at the post this morning. KPLC's Andrea Robinson tells us more about who Sergeant Johnson was. The Military Combat Training Center in Vernon Parish is now named after Sergeant William Henry Johnson. It is a great piece of history. Um, when you look at Sergeant William Henry Johnson and his heroic actions in World War I. He enlisted in the Army in 1917 and was assigned to an all-black National Guard unit known as the Harlem Hellfinders. His granddaughter, Tara Johnson, was one of the many at the redesignation ceremony. It meant something for me that it was all about his service and that he was a soldier, not about the color of our skin, what we believe religiously, but we believe in this country and we're willing to fight for it. He was never recognized for his service while he was alive, but has since been awarded a Purple Heart, a Medal of Honor, and now this. Really cared about serving that loved the country, that said, I am an American and I'm going to fight for it, and nothing else mattered to him but that. Johnson was known for his warrior spirit while he served his country, especially during a surprise German attack. You know, most people have that fight or flight instinct, and his was total fight. Johnson prevented one of its fellow soldiers who was injured from being taken prisoner by the Germans. And while Johnson was also injured, he continued fighting off dozens of enemies in the attack. Forging the warrior spirit, it's the motto of the training facility, and it's why officials believe it best for the post to be named after Johnson. And as the commanding general of what we call the home of heroes, it's so wonderful to have it named after a hero that our soldiers can rally behind. It was his service and his training that helped him get that recognition. So what is a better fitting place than where they're coming from all over our country to be trained to protect our country? It is a big honor. We are so elated. A legacy of bravery and patriotism to carry on through the soldiers who come through Fort Johnson. And really this place for over 80 years has not just trained people from Louisiana, it trained more people than anybody for the Vietnam War and we've trained over a million Americans here at this location uh, to fight and win our nation's wars and so I think he's representative of what we do every day. And for Johnson, Andrea Robinson, 7 News. Many military members and local, state, and federal dignitaries honored Sergeant Johnson at the ceremony, which makes it official now with the changing of colors and names.